welcome back to my vlog. We just got back from our Napa trip and let me tell you that is exactly what I needed. It refreshed and restored my soul. I had the most wonderful time. It was relaxing. It was just strolling around cute towns, popping in bakeries. It's exactly the way that I prefer to vacation. <laughs> and I just haven't done anything like that in a while and I really loved it and it was it was exactly what we needed. Just a relaxing vacation, a relaxing time. We didn't really have much to do aside from photograph the hotel and everything and it was just so relaxing and beautiful. We went on an incredible hike that I'm still thinking about and wishing we had just had more time to just keep going and going on it and I'm wishing that hike was closer to us because I just want to go on it again and we saw some areas for like mountain biking so we're already talking about like going back and doing mountain biking and everything and it was not what I expected. I did not expect to go there and leave and just like be dying to go back but I already am dying to go back and I found a few places that, like bakeries and coffee shops and uh, a taco place like all of these places that were so delicious and good a lot of really yummy food places so I am all geared up and ready to go back but now we're back home and it's laundry day my least favorite day of the week I don't know if anyone else has this issue but I have a complete I have a complete mental block when it comes to laundry. That is like the one chore on my to-do list that I cannot for the life of me remember. I'll put laundry in and if I don't set a timer, I'm gonna forget it's there until probably the next day. And then I have to wash it again because it's been sitting in water for like a day and a half. It's really, really bad and I've always been this way and I think it just is chalked to the fact that I really, really, really just hate doing laundry. But it's laundry day. I unpacked everything. We came home. Was it yesterday? Yeah, we came home yesterday and I unpacked everything of mine right away. I was just like, we need to unpack right away because when I get home, I like to unpack right away and be refreshed. So we unpacked and now I have all the laundry to do. So I'm doing that today. But right now I was just about to go outside and cut some of the grapefruit off our tree. I don't know if it's any good. I believe this is the first year it's produced grapefruit. Again, we didn't live in this house this time last year. But I think this year might have been the first year it produced any fruit and it looks good out there and and the grapefruit have been out there for a while and they haven't fallen yet so that to me is a good sign that they're still like not overly ripe all our lemons fell off like I was waiting for the perfect time because they were so bitter they were tiny and bitter and again the lemon tree I think it was the first year producing and the lemons were just so tiny and bitter that I just like left them on there as long as I could hoping they'd be a little bit more sweet um, but it, instead they just sort of fell off the tree, which was sad. And then they just didn't taste very good. They still tasted bitter. It was just bad. So the grapefruit have not fallen off the tree. They're still there. So I'm going to go and like pick one and see if it's any good because I hear like the longer you leave it on, the sweeter they get. And I am not a big grapefruit person. I don't like the bitter. So I'm hoping it can be a little bit sweeter. So let's go pick some grapefruit now. like it's dry so I don't have much hope but let's just cut into these and see. Beautiful though, right? It actually smells good. I did not expect that at all. Okay, right now I'm actually off to feed the horses. We have horses on the property right now for weed abatement. The weeds have gotten crazy on the ranch. I forgot to mention they are my mother-in-law's horses, so they uh, aren't going to live here <laughs> for very long. Just long enough to help with me.
day and I just stopped at Trader Joe's and I thought I would do a little haul for you guys. Yes, I am wearing the same sweater as I was yesterday, but I love it that much, so it's my new favorite. Okay, so I got bananas, we got sourdough bread. I liked the cracked wheat, the sliced cracked wheat sourdough bread, very good. I got vanilla bean paste, which I highly recommend. See ya. See ya. Normally they have a different vanilla bean paste at only Christmas time and so they've come out with the bourbon one and this one has been sticking around for I think it's probably been about three or four months now so I think this might be a staple now at Trader Joe's so highly recommend. The chocolate caramel sea salt butterscotch bar balls. Very good regular vanilla. Got a couple of the Bear Ball protein bars. Balsamic. And then I got the organic lemonade. Laundry detergent. Love their lavender laundry detergent. Um, this is new. It is the cookies and cream covered pretzel slims. They're very good. We actually ate some on the way home and they were very good. Paper towels. Basil. Thyme. Recipes. I got some strawberries. These look really beautiful. Really good. Um, a couple of the milk chocolate pretzels. Joseph loves these, so those are one of the snacks I like to always have in the house for it. Little heirloom tomatoes, toilet paper, salt, soy sauce, gyoza dipping sauce. Um, this is a face wash and some pesto. And then for the cold items, the regular pub cheese, guacamole, a couple of plain yogurts for my smoothies. We got cheese sticks, mozzarella chicken, frozen cherries for my smoothie. The frozen cherries from Trader Joe's are very, very good. Spanish style rice and brown rice. A couple of the orange chicken. Got some of the chicken gyoza pot stickers as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's why I got to Trader Joe's. Okay, you guys, it's a few days later. I also got this, um, it's from Jerk Avenue. Kind of oversized fit. Let me put it on real quick. This is it on. Super cute. I actually really like it with the little, um, the little shorts. The pajama shorts. I think that's really cute. I'm going to make myself a little snacky and I'm going to go sit out in the sun and do a little bit of work in the sunshine because I feel like my body could just use that right now. I'm also going to try this poppy drink. It looks really cute and delicious and I have never had poppy before. This one's raspberry rose. We'll see how I like it but I think it's time to go outside and get a little bit of sun. All right I'm gonna try and get a ladder and get a bunch of the Tupperware containers. <laughs> Trader Joe's frozen dinner <laughs> tonight. So I'm going to do the orange chicken, which if you haven't got the orange chicken or had the orange chicken from Trader Joe's, you're definitely missing out. Bag of rice, easy, you just throw it in the microwave. And then I'm doing the um, chicken gyoza pot stickers, which I've never done before. I think they can go in the, looks like I can pan fry them. I'll probably do that. This is my lazy girl dinner. I usually do like these once a week. <laughs> Something that's just like frozen easy from Trader Joe's. Looking good. Serve up dinner then. Alright, dinner is served. It's a couple days later. I am actually in the house we are going to be moving into. 
um, and not too long. So we are, I don't know if I mentioned this in this vlog or not, but we are moving out of our tiny house and we're moving into the larger house on the ranch property. Um, so we've been busy moving all a bunch of stuff out and then we're going to be sort of fixing it up a little bit and then we're going to move in. So we've been really busy. Just I've been busy today moving boxes and getting stuff ready for donation and everything. But I can kind of show you the kitchen right now. Um, we've come a long way, honestly. This like you could hardly see the floor before because there was just all boxes full of stuff from the kitchen so obviously it's still a mess but yeah it's it's coming along and everything is out of the cabinets now which was like the biggest feat of all um and it's going to donation but yeah it's still a few things <laughs> sitting around but um, i'm planning on painting these cabinets and everything you know just freshening it up but i'll probably go into that in more detail in another vlog at some point um but but yeah i've just been loading up tons of boxes and just getting them ready to go out so we're gonna be donating them and um my mother-in-law she i think it's something with the 4-h kids that she works with but um they do like some sort of donation drive kind of thing, like clothing drive or something. So basically we're filling up this horse trailer. We cleaned it out and then we're gonna be filling it up fully with boxes. So this is what we got so far. Piling up the boxes and we just wanna get everything this as full as possible so that um, it can be all taken to be donated. So that's what we're doing right now. Oh, I've got a cat meowing at me. What's the matter? Are you upset about things? What's the matter? I think I'm going to end the vlog here, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications, like this video, all that stuff. But thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.